Your studio environment probably doesn't have background noise like you'd have in the great outdoors, but it probably has some, and that's where tools like the noise gate that we have here in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad can come in handy. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to use the noise gate. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. Now, what is a noise gate and how can it help you make your track sound better? Well, a lot of folks ask me, how do I remove or reduce the background noise in my tracks? Now, a noise gate is just one tool that will help a little bit. What it doesn't do is remove the noise while you're singing or while you're playing an instrument and recording. What it does do is turns the volume down to zero between the phrases. So if you are singing a song or you're playing a guitar part, in those sections where there is no sound, you don't want to be hearing the background noise, the room noise, and all of those distracting components. So the noise gate will actually turn off the volume and make sure that that is not playing back in between your phrases. The best way to show you though is to show you here in GarageBand on my iPhone. So let's jump in now and take a look. So to demonstrate how our noise gate works, I'm hearing my latest song in GarageBand on my iPhone. This is a song called Six and Eight. What I'm gonna do is I'll go to my vocal, so my main lead vocal in this track, which is here, and I'm gonna solo that. Now at the moment, it sounds a little bit like this. Mother told me. So all good, but what I've got here is I've got these in-betweeny phrases where I can hear myself breathing. So let's just hear this part. The dance. So you can hear sort of some mouth noises, some breathing, and that's the bit that we want to cut out with a noise gate. So how do we access our noise gate? Well, we tap on the mixer icon here in the top left to go to our track settings. Now, if you're on a smaller iPhone, that may be in the top right. You drop down and then go to your track settings there. But you want to come in here where you can access your plugins and EQ. So we're going to tap on plugins and EQ. And here you can see we have noise gate as the first option. Now, noise gate is not a plugin that you can add. So you can't come into edit and actually add it in there there, it is a default plugin that comes with a lot of these vocal presets and instrument presets. So if you want to learn more about using vocal presets and effects here in GarageBand, I will link to some videos down in the description. But for now, let's turn on the noise gate because what we want to do, we'll just slide this over so we can see the track a little better. What we want to do is see if we can actually remove that. Now, the way that we set the noise gate is we turn it on. So we turn the blue light on there. Now, if we bring the noise gate to the right, this is going to be a very aggressive setting. This is our threshold setting. So what this is saying is that any time the volume drops below minus 10 dB, it's going to cut off the volume. It's going to turn it off completely. And then if we move it to the left, we get a conservative setting. So we can set it that we only want that to drop when it gets below, say, minus 40 dB. So what I'll do is I'll show you what this is like with a very aggressive and then with a more conservative setting. And this will help explain and show you exactly what the noise gate will do. So let's firstly see what a really aggressive threshold setting will do. I won't even make it minus 10. Let's make it minus 15 here. I've got this track soloed. I'll play it back and just take a listen to what the noise gate set to a minus 15 threshold is going to do to this audio. Mother told me, son, you'd better dance while you've got the chance and have the talent. So hopefully you can hear that that is pretty terrible. What it's doing is it's actually cutting off the start and the end of a lot of those phrases. So it's not just removing the blank space in between here. Every time I pause or take a breath or do anything, because it's below minus 15 dB, it's cutting off that audio. It's putting the audio, the volume down to zero. So what we actually want to do is make it more conservative. So let's drop it down to say minus 30 dB and let's take a listen to that same phrase now with a more conservative the threshold on our noise gate. Mother told me, son, you'd better dance while you've got the chance. So you can hear there, it's much better. It is turning the volume off in the section that we want it to, but it let it got the chance, the dance. You could hear the end of those. It does tend to cut off the start a little bit. So this is probably my biggest tip with the noise gate is get it to about where you want it and then drop it another few dB because you don't want it cutting off the start of those phrases. So I would drop this down to say 35, which is about where I would have a noise gate. And let's just play it back again now and hear the difference. Mother told me, son, you'd better dance while you've got the... 
And you might think, yeah, it is still cutting that off a little bit. Is that gonna be a problem? Well, let's bring it back into the mix now and just take a listen because you'll, you'll hear that it doesn't actually sound as bad when you actually have it with the rest of the instruments. Mother told me, son, you'd better dance while you've got the chance. So there you go, that is the noise gate in its most basic form. Now, you might notice in there that when we are adjusting the noise gate, we only have that one dial. If you've used noise gates in other DAWs, in digital audio workstations, you'll often have a mix percentage there as well. And this is one thing that I wish GarageBand had, because what I would love to do is be a little bit more aggressive with that, but then not turn it to zero, not make it a complete gate. So yes, the, the term gate means it's either open or closed, it's on or it's off. Off, but a lot of noise gates can be sort of left a little bit open because not only do you have a threshold there you can make the mix say 50% or 75% which means it's going to still let through some of the sound so some better options here in a noise gate would be better but here in GarageBand we just have the on off open closed noise gate okay before we finish up here let's jump over to an acoustic guitar track and see what we can do with a noise gate to clean up our guitar now I have stereo guitars I've got a left and a right guitar here here but I've just put this guitar to a center pan because you're not going to hear the stereo anyway I'm just using my screen recorder which has mono audio so what I'm going to do the guitar actually completely stops in a section here so I'll bring you to here and it sounds like this And you can hear it rings out there for quite a while. Now, we want the noise gate to turn off in between, but we don't want to lose any of that sustain at the end of that guitar part. So let's play with this again. We're going to come in here. We'll go to our track settings. No, we won't. We'll go to our plugins and EQ and we'll go to our noise gate. Now, if we turn this down and we're too aggressive like we were before, let's make it minus 15. Take a listen to what happens here now. cuts it straight off. That is not what we want. So once again, we need something a little bit more, uh, a little bit less aggressive. So we'll go with something like minus 36. And you can hear there that it even cuts it off. You could probably even go a little bit more conservative on that. So again, it is a good tool to have in your toolkit. It's a way that we can actually reduce the volume of those in-between parts. But keep in mind, it won't actually reduce the volume while we're playing here. So the noise gate does nothing while your instrument or while your voice is playing. It will not reduce background noise. It will not do anything to the signal. All it will do is turn off 100%, go to zero volume when the noise gate kicks in. So whatever threshold you have it set, that is when it's going to go to zero. And that is the key thing to take away when you're using the noise gate. And there you go. Is the noise gate going to make your track sound perfect and remove all of your background noise problems? No. But is it going to be one of the tools that you can have in your recording, mixing and mastering toolbox? Absolutely. It serves a purpose and it does a reasonably good job of what it does here in GarageBand. Thanks for watching. If you've got comments, questions or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you'd like to check out some more videos, there are two linked right down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon up in the top right corner there, or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.